In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Google Pixel Watch 2. So the first thing you need to do is turn on your watch. So go ahead and find the digital crown and we're gonna press and hold until we see the G Google logo. So I'm going to press and hold and I'm still holding and now I can let go. So this is gonna go through a little startup process on the watch. It may take a minute or two, so just be patient. In the meantime, let's go ahead and find the Play Store. So the icon looks like this. If you don't find it on your home screen, you can swipe up or do whatever you need to do to access all of your apps. It should be listed here alphabetically, but if you still can't find it, you can also tap here on the search bar and type in Play. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on Play Store icon here. And then we're gonna go up to this search bar here where it says search apps. I'm gonna tap here and I'm gonna type in Google Pixel Watch. And you don't, may not have to type it all the way in before it shows up here in the search results. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on it. And we do get to the point here where we hear a little chime on our watch. If you don't hear that chime, it might mean that your speaker is faulty and you'll want to return your device from where you got it or at least exchange it. So make sure you hear that chime. And we're gonna go ahead and tap on this little eye icon on the watch. And it looks like we can choose our language here. You can use the scroll wheel here if you have a different language you wanna use. Go ahead and scroll and find and then tap. And so the watch is telling us on your phone, download and open Google Pixel Watch. So that's exactly what I was starting to have you do here. So this is the app here. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this icon area. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap on install. You just wanna make sure that this is Google Pixel Watch app by Google, it is free. It should have over a million downloads. And once it's installed, you can go ahead and tap open. All right, so on this screen, we can tap continue. And we need to agree to some terms of service and you can either uh, have these checked or unchecked your decision. Uh, you can send usage and diagnostic reports to Google. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one checked. And then location is useful if you're gonna use GPS on your watch or if you wanna see the weather on your watch. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one checked but make your selections there. And you can scroll down and read more about updates and then tap I agree. All right, so here we're gonna go ahead and just tap allow. And it says choose a watch to be managed by Google Pixel Watch. So if we scroll down here on our watch, you'll see these four alphanumeric values here. They should match the value here. This is just in case you have another Pixel Watch in your household. So go ahead and tap on whichever watch you're trying to set up. And it says that it's starting to pair. And here the number on the watch and the phone match. If you want to accept or reject calls on your Pixel Watch, go ahead and make sure that you have that checked and then go ahead and tap pair. Now it says it's connecting to my watch and we have a little animation here on the Pixel Watch's screen. All right, here it's asking me to sign into my Google account to use Google Apps, download new apps, and use Find My Device. So if you don't want to do this, I can guess you can exit the setup. It sounds like it's required, so I'm going to go ahead and tap Sign In. And here it will show your default Google account. If you want to change to a different account, you can tap this little down arrow here and then choose a different account. That's actually what I'm going to do. So I'm going to choose my other account, and I'm going to say Continue. And it's signing me in. All right, and it's saying copy your Google accounts to your watch. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and say copy. And now I need to unlock my phone. All right, and it's continuing the sign-in process. All right, now we have some additional legal terms and disclosures by tapping accept, you agree to all of these things. There's a device arbitration agreement. Google Assistant Disclosure and Additional Notice. So once you read through all those, and if you accept, go ahead and tap I accept. If you tap decline, you won't be able to use your device. So I'm gonna tap I accept. And now it's getting account info and, all right, so you can tap next to learn how to switch your bands. I'll show that in another video. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap not now. 
and set watch orientation. So which wrist do you want to wear your uh, watch on and then where do you want the crown? So I actually wanna have the crown on the left side. That's something I learned from the original Pixel Watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and select left here. And you'll see here how the display has changed now. So now I can look at the display like this with the crown and the display will be correctly aligned. Now you will need to change your bands so that this band is on the top and so forth. All right, so I've swapped out the bands just so you can see the display still and go ahead and make your selections and then tap continue. All right, now it's showing that you can get health and wellness features when you connect your watch to the Fitbit app. So if you don't wanna do that now, you wanna use Google Fit or something, you can go ahead and tap not now. I will be using Fitbit with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap continue. All right, so you can read this about some features on your watch when you connect to Fitbit. I'll go ahead and tap next. And you have health metrics, I'll tap next. And sleep tracking, I'll tap next. And now it's saying download the Fitbit app and connect to your watch. So again, you can do this not now. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna say install Fitbit. And since I haven't installed this before, it's showing up the little Google Play here and I'm gonna tap install. All right, so now it's installed to my phone and I can open Fitbit. And this is the Fitbit login page. So we need to sign in with Google. So I'm gonna tap here. And again, you can choose whichever account you want to sign in with. If that's your default account, you can tap continue. If not, you can tap here to find a different account. So I'm gonna do that and tap continue. All right, and so this is a new uh, Fitbit account for me. So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue as a new user. If you already have another existing Fitbit account, you could sign in by tapping this button. I'm gonna go ahead and say continue as new user. So it's asking me to add my height, weight, and sex so that certain metrics will be calculated properly. So if you wanna change these, you just tap on them. You can choose a different unit and then you can scroll up or down to make your selections. And once you're done, you can tap okay. So go ahead and do the same for your weight and sex, and then tap save and continue. All right, now we have some privacy information about what data is collected, how Google will use the data, and you have to give your consent here and here, and now you can tap agree and continue. All right, Fitbit is ready to use. And now I can tap continue. And if you want to participate in research, so have your data used in research, you can tap I agree here. If you would rather not, you can tap no thanks. And it looks like you can turn this off any time from your Fitbit settings if you say I agree and then decide you wanna opt out. So if you do not agree, your data will not be used to research and develop new products and services or to support health research. So make whatever decision you want here. I'm gonna go ahead and say no thanks. All right, and here we have some email and notification preferences. So if you wanna opt into their newsletter to get updates on new products and promotions and tips, you can leave that enabled. If you'd rather not get that, you can disable that there. Uh, you can also get um, research invites, either through email or push. I definitely don't want push notifications. I'm gonna turn all those off for now. You may want to enable this one and optionally enable research invites. So make your preferences there and tap save and continue. All right, so it looks like we're here on the Fitbit app and we're going to be setting up the Google Pixel Watch 2. So I'm gonna tap setup and it says connect Google Pixel Watch 2 to the Fitbit app. You can read through all of this and then go ahead and tap agree if you agree. And if you deny, you won't be able to use the Fitbit app with your watch. So now the Fitbit app is connecting to the Pixel Watch 2. It says keep your watch nearby to connect to the Fitbit app. All right, and after a minute or so, it says my watch is connected to the Fitbit app. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap done. And you do get six months of Fitbit Premium for free with your purchase of the Google Pixel Watch 2. You can start that up now, or you can start this up uh, later, there's a maybe 90 day period or something, don't quote me on that, but something like that, that you can start this up uh, later. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap this X to get out of there. 
and it says I'm ready to use Fitbit on my watch. So this is just um, clarifying that you track your health with the Fitbit app. This is where you'll track exercise, heart rate, sleep, and other activity. And then the Google Pixel Watch app is where you manage your device and where you change watch faces and update your device. So these two apps will be uh, working together, but they are separate apps. So go ahead and tap continue here. And it says it's preparing some safety features. So it says my Google Pixel watch comes with safety features. You can access these features when it's connected to your phone or Wi-Fi network. So there's a SOS, sharing real-time location, and a safety check. So it uh, looks like we just tap continue here. And we have some Google Assistant available on the watch. You can press and hold the side button to talk to your assistant. So go ahead and tap continue. And setting a lock for your watch. So it looks like you can skip this here, or you can set a four digit pin or a pattern. If you're gonna use a Google Wallet, you will definitely need to have this on, but I think if you set up Google Wallet, it will prompt you to set up this pin. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and say skip. And so here you can set up the Google Pay where you set up your cards or transits and can pay with just your watch. So you can go ahead and set that up now if you would like, or you can set it up later. I'm gonna go ahead and say not now. And now you can find more apps on Google Play and install them from your phone or watch. You can go ahead and tap set up to do that now, or I'm gonna go ahead and say not now and I'll install apps later. So it was checking for updates. It did have an update. It looks like it wants me to charge my watch. So I guess I'll go ahead and attach the charger here. So something you will need to know about this charger is that it only attaches to your watch in one way. And the way I remember it is I find the digital crown and then I want the cable sticking out in line with the digital crown. So for example, this does not work because the cable is not with the digital crown, but this does. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this under and it's going to attach magnetically now this other side isn't charged, uh, connected to anything yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in to a charging source. And there we go. So now that it's charged, it says on the watch face that it's downloading the update. All right, so I did some tapping on my watch and it looks like you can get a little circular progress bar here. All right, so shortly after that little circle filled in, it now says that it's optimizing my device and this may take a while. So it looks like we have another little progress circle here to wait on. All right, so it looks like it finished optimizing and now my watch is restarting and my phone says the setup is complete. Your watch may need to restart. And it looks like there's a little opt-in here. If you want to stay up to date on Google's hardware products and related features, services, and offers, plus receive invitations to help improve Google hardware products and related services. So maybe I'll go ahead and click that and then I'm going to tap done. All right, now it's saying allow Google Pixel Watch to send you notifications. I'll go ahead and allow that. All right, it looks like my watch is finally uh, finished restarting and has fully started up here. It now is showing that it is at 81%, so I can safely take it off of the charger here. And that should take us back to the default watch face. There we go. All right, now we get a little prompt to learn how to use your new watch. So you can either X out of it or you can go ahead and hit the check mark. I'll just hit the check mark. And it says, let's start with swipes. So you swipe up for notifications. So we'll swipe up. Access notifications from the watch face. Okay, and then swipe down for quick settings and access quick settings from the watch face. Swipe from the left edge to go back. And you can swipe from the left edge on apps, tiles, and more. Now let's learn about tiles. Looks like we're on the second of three. Tiles are accessed from the watch face and show helpful info from your apps. Swipe left or right to cycle through your tiles. So these are tiles and we can sweep, keep swiping for more. And 
tiles are accessed from the watch face. Now let's learn about the two buttons. Press the crown to go back to the watch face. So I'm going to press this. And you can return to the watch face anytime. From the watch face, press the crown for apps. So there's our apps list. You can get to all your apps from here. Press the side button to see your recently used apps. You can access your recent apps from anywhere. All right, and it says, do I want to learn a few tips to try later? Sure. To switch to your last used app, double press the side button, okay? And to talk to your assistant, press and hold the side button. Touch and hold the watch face to customize. To restart, turn off and send an SOS, press the crown for three seconds. To access wallet, double press the crown. And now you're a pro, time to use your new watch. All right, so your Pixel 2 has been connected to your phone. It's been connected to the Pixel Watch app and the Fitbit app, and you have hit the ground running. So there's obviously other settings you need to change. You can start by swiping here and doing any of these uh, recommended setup actions. I might do another video here. If I do, I'll link it here at the end of the video showing you how to use your watch further. So if you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more Pixel Watch 2 videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.